The Air Force 7 Summit Challenge is this really cool program that we started up. And the idea is to let airmen reach the highest peaks on every continent in the world. So with the seven continents, we've got seven peaks that we want to climb. On top of each one, the goal is to raise the Air Force flag and uh, raise morale along the way. We take the Air Force flag to the top of the summits because we want to show everybody that, hey, we're not just your average Joe mountain climber. We're actually a group of Air Force professionals. Uh, we're officers, we're airmen, and we're very dedicated to uh, promoting the Air Force values and really increasing morale and, and, uh, and putting the spotlight on the Air Force skills. So uh, it's, it's just a great way to really promote the Air Force and uh, to kind of get the recognition that, that many of our airmen deserve. I started the team with Captain Ubaraga in 2005 after the Wrath 1-1 crash in Albania. I was there and uh, it just really, uh, it kind of shook me down to the core. And I decided that would be a great way to raise money for their families. I'd say we're, we're well over $40,000 and uh, we're probably getting close to $50,000 of donations given to us. And we're proud to say that 100% of the donations given have all gone to the Special Operations Warrior Foundation charity. A lot of people wonder why uh, mountaineering would help the Air Force. And I think it's a great way to get out in the public eye and show the American public kind of a behind the scenes look of what today's airmen do in their free time. We've got an amazing variety of skills and a range of hobbies and mountaineering is a very aggressive and athletic event and we want to show people that uh, when we take off our uniform that we like to get out and do athletic events that still involve teamwork and uh, strength and just kind of uh, really pushing the limits of uh, the human experience. We've proven that we're able to climb some of the highest mountains in the world and uh, get up there healthy and safely and even do 100 push-ups at 23,000 feet. And, and so we, we really wanted to, uh, to hammer in the fact that, that climbing can really show the great determination and teamwork and a wide range of skills that the Air Force members have. So far I've climbed all the peaks with the team except for Mount McKinley. So that would include, we started with uh, Mount uh, Elbrus, which is the highest peak in Europe. We moved on to Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. Followed by that, I went to Mount Aconcagua in South America. We've only got two peaks left as a team, and those are going to be our most challenging, logistically speaking. Uh, one of them is going to be Antarctica, and the hard part about Antarctica is uh, getting down to that continent. It's, uh, it's difficult to fly down there, and we're trying to see what we can work out with the Air Force or a commercial group. And then after that would be uh, Mount Everest. And we've actually made quite a bit of progress towards that mount, uh, getting the Mount Everest climb lined up. Reaching the, the top of one of these large summits is a fantastic feeling, mostly because you're surrounded by your friends and your teammates, and you, you never quite know if you're going to make it until you get those last final footsteps to the top. The weather could turn bad on you, someone could get sick. So on all the climbs that we've been on when we've reached the top, you kind of round the corner or kind of get your foot up on that last rock, and soon you stand above all the, all the clouds and all the world below you, you stretch out the American flag or the Air Force flag, and it's a real thrill. We've learned a lot about all the different cultures, from dancing with Maasai warriors in Africa, to uh, drinking chai tea up in Nepal, up at Everest Base Camp, to uh, sharing steak and wine with the Argentinians in South America. I'd say our biggest experiences come from the cultural exchange that we get with the climbers and the guides and the porters. Uh, it's really a big eye-opener for the, the climbing members, and it kind of helps them realize their part in the world and America's part in the world as well. One dream that I do have after the Everest uh, attempt and after it's complete and successful is to continue the uh, Seven Summits Challenge. And even though we've climbed all the mountains, that doesn't mean that we can't continue to introduce airmen to the great experience of mountaineering and to the confidence that it gives and to encourage people to be healthy in their life. Because if you're healthy, that's when you realize there's nothing that you can't do in this world. So uh, I think after Everest and the Seven Summits are complete, we'll probably just go on and try to do them again every few years and encourage people to join us.